Hey dolls, so today's video comes courtesy of Sister Wigs. They sent over this gorgeous emerald green colored wig. Her name is Janice and she's from the brand Vanessa. So if you're interested in my review, stay tuned. Um, this is what Janice looks like and this is why I was so excited to try her because she has that really nice bone straight and it has layers and then over here it has like a nice really nice or a nice really cute flip. Kind of like the fairy Foss situation. And when the hair flips, it is another color. So I got her in the color TF Emerald Green. Or it's TF Emerald, but of course it's a green color. I'm going to open her up and see what she's all about. As always, keep your envelopes because um, you'll be able to store your wig in this. Whether or not you keep the remainder of the packaging, this is pretty much all you need. And she's kind of like one of those open boxes where... There's really no back, and there's like a little flap in the front. You can go in and get her out. Ooh, do you guys see that? She is super pretty. I've been actually wanting to learn how to dye hair this color, like from scratch, like from this to this. So maybe I'll try that pretty soon, because this is kind of inspiring me. But I'm definitely loving the color off the bat. First of all, it's a lace front, so there's lace along the entire perimeter of the um, hairline. And then right here is where you have lace for your parting. Feel free to go ahead and add your powder inside, like all right here. That way it'll help conceal the knots on the outside. And then of course you can add more powder on top, just to make it look that much more realistic. This is kind of what the parting looks like. As far as the construction of the cap, um, it is a breathable cap, hence you can see my fingers through it. Um, there's one comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. So obviously it's meant to be a side part to um, emphasize that green um, detail. So the combs are surrounding the parting basically on the side where the parting is. So I'm just taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep as always. And I'm just going to take a little bit of a, or take a brush to load it up. And I just take a finger, my pointer finger and wrap it around wherever the parting is and then just dab it in there I feel like I always do this messy when I do it on camera I take it far back as I can go because I really like it when the um, parting goes back like super far so I don't know if you guys can see that, focus, 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 but you literally cannot see any of the knots. Of course I have a little bit um, on the hair because I got a little bit messy, so I'm going to blend that out on the hair, but as far as the lace goes, you cannot see any of those knots anymore. So that's a quick tip on how to make your lace look natural. I've already cut off the lace around the perimeter of the hairline. Feel free to make baby hair or whatever out of um, the hair along the hairline to make it look even more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and put her on and then I'll be right back. And this is what she looks like on. Let me show you guys what she looks like from the back. Now I will say I wish that the cap was just a little bit tighter. So I did have to use the back home and um attach it to my braids just to make sure it doesn't shift or move so if you have a larger head this unit is big head friendly um, this is what the parting looks like with that powder and again just go ahead and blend out if you got any on the actual hair you could also tweeze it I usually don't tweeze it I just go ahead and add the powder and that's usually enough for me you can also add baby hair along this side but it does lay flat pretty flat naturally so you don't have to like put any heat or any foam wrap or anything up top to make it lay. The ends of the hair are straight. Um, the texture is a yakky texture. It's a soft yakky so it's not like um, thick or fluffy or blow dried. It's more straight. But to the touch it does feel a little bit yakky. Lengthwise, it feels like it's between about 18 and 20 inches. I would say 20 inches at the longest length but along the front it does have shorter pieces like it's cut you know really nicely and this is what that beautiful green looks like it comes curled 
So the remainder of the hair is straight, but the parts that are green have a nice little curl to it. Um, this wig is flat iron, curling iron safe. So if you want to curl the rest of the hair, or you want to straighten this, or whatever you want to do, you can heat it up up to 360 degrees. And yeah, I really like it. I don't have any complaints. As I said before, I love the fact that um, it's very easy to style. You don't really have to do much to it. And you can add a nice little pop of color for the summer season without making a permanent commitment because this wig is super affordable. And yeah, I really don't have any complaints. Like I said, this, ha this wig is big head friendly. So if you do have a smaller head, you will have to use the comb in the back as well as the adjustable straps just to make it feel a little bit more secure. Overall, she's super cute. Also, don't forget to check out Janice. I do have her link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.